The Queen of Granada by M. Riff Chapter 186, The Message Espanto, resting on Rita's arm, had poked his head out the opening in front of the raincoat despite the rain and followed the conversation. Rita clutched her forehead hard, as if trying to crush her head and wake up from the nightmare. She felt she had been in the Land Rover when it plummeted off the cliffs. It repeatedly hit the edge of the cliff, she imagined, and each time Tobar or one of the children was thrown out of the vehicle and fell into the raging water below. She gathered her strength and managed to ask the officer, was the car heading towards the coast or up towards the city? The officer replied, it was heading toward the coast. With a trembling voice, Rita responded, then Rosen couldn't have been in the car. The officer pulled out a small notepad and pen from his pocket and inquired, Did you see the car leave from here? Rita nodded and then he asked, Can you tell me who was in the car? Rita replied, Tobar, the father, was driving with two children, Nuria, who is almost five, and Pal, who's around fourteen years old. They were on their way to the coast to meet their mother, Rosen. She had left earlier in the morning to officiate a wedding ceremony by the coast. He noted it down and glanced at the crane that was ready to leave. Hesitantly, he considered asking if she knew if the Land Rover's driver was drunk. Dropping the question, pocketing the notepad and pen, he said, Would you please deliver the message to her when she gets back? Rita, who couldn't tear her gaze away from the wreck, nodded. She had no idea how she would convey this message to Rosen, who had explicitly asked her to prevent Tobar and the children from heading to the coast. She barely noticed as the officer and the military crane disappeared into the darkness. Rita braved the rain and, with a spanto on her arm, circled the wreckage. It looked as if the car had tumbled down the rocks and turned into a massive ball of crumpled metal, stained with engine oil. She thought she could spot a piece of Nuria's pink party dress and a couple of guitar strings crumpled with the wreckage. But she wasn't sure of her senses. She could feel neither the rain nor the storm. Rita returned to the house, then to the Volkswagen. Inside, she found Espanto resting on the bed. Without disturbing the cat, she lifted the edge of the blanket, crawled under it, and curled up in a fetal position.